heat and humidity. These two words said in every summertime forecast also control our heat index or how hot we feel. Let's turn up the heat in this week's Weather IQ. The heat index derives from this simple formula or it can be simply calculated using charts based on temperature and humidity or using the dew point. Here's an example using dew point. If it's 100 degrees and the dew point is a sticky 60, then it will feel like 101. But a tropical dew point of 75 degrees will make a 100 degree temperature feel like 114. Here's a fact most people don't know. Heat index charts are based on shady locations. If you're exposed to direct sunlight, the heat index value can be increased up to 10 to 15 degrees. As heat and humidity increase, so does the heat index or what our bodies think the temperature is. But when our bodies get too hot, you're going to sweat. That sweat will evaporate, which is a cooling process. But warmer air holds more moisture, which only makes it feel hotter. The high moisture content of the air slows the skin's evaporation. This causes our internal temperature to rise, leading to different levels of heat disorders with prolonged exposure. So when's it considered dangerously hot? When heat indices are 90 to 103, it's encouraged to use extreme caution. A heat index from 103 to 124 degrees is at the danger level. Heat cramps or heat exhaustion are likely, and the worst case scenario, heat stroke is possible. Anything 125 plus is extremely dangerous, and heat stroke is highly likely. Wishing you all stay safe and cool. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.